New York's Democratic Governor Kathy Hochul signed a bill into law on Tuesday creating a commission to study the impact of slavery and centuries of racism in the state, and potentially propose reparations, becoming the second state to take action on the issue which has also faced criticism largely from the right. New York State Senator James Sanders, who sponsored the bill and chairs the state select majority task force on minority and women-owned business enterprises, said in a statement, This is a day that will be etched in the annals of our state's history, adding, Today, we plant a seed of hope, not just for the city of New York and New York State, but for the nation. Calls for reparations picked up steam amid the Black Lives Matter movement though proposals date back multiple decades. Federal legislation for a commission to study the possible implementation of reparations was first introduced in 1989, and later reintroduced in 2013, 2015, 2017, 2019, 2021 and 2023. Those bills have either died in committee or were referred to the Congressional Committees of Jurisdiction. Several cities have also launched programs on reparations, including the Chicago suburb of Evanston, Illinois, which created a first-of-its-kind program in 2019 to use marijuana sales taxes to fund reparations. The cities of Boston and St. Louis, as well as Providence, Rhode Island, St. Paul, Minnesota, Berkeley, California, and Asheville, North Carolina, have also proposed reparations projects, including a task force in Boston and St. Louis's Reparations Commission. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, survivors of the 1921 Tulsa Race Massacre and their families may also receive reparations, after the Oklahoma Supreme Court agreed in August to review an appeal of multiple survivors seeking payment, after they had previously been denied cash payments. A $100 million, Legacy of Slavery, endowment fund established last year at Harvard University, meanwhile, provides funding for students examining the school's ties to slavery. Despite the rise in reparations initiatives, roughly two-thirds of American adults say they're opposed to cash payments for the descendants of slaves, according to a 2021 poll conducted by WCVB and the University of Massachusetts, Amherst. Roughly 80% of white Americans in a 2022 Pew Research Center poll also said they oppose reparations, compared to 17% of black Americans. White and black respondents in the Pew Research poll also had widely different views on whether the legacy of slavery affects black Americans' position in society today, with 85% of black respondents saying it does, and half of white Americans saying so. Right-wing lawmakers have led the chorus of criticism against reparations, arguing America has already paid for racial injustices through civil rights laws and welfare programs, with Senator Tim Scott, R.S. C. who is black, calling himself, living proof that America is the land of opportunity and not a land of oppression.